I'm sure we've all been at those family gatherings and you hear your auntie saying, don't get so angry, you're gonna give yourself an ulcer. This saying is actually based on established idea that only stress or emotional negativity leads to stomach ulcers and a host of serious gastrointestinal symptoms. While that's not entirely true, there are many, many causes of peptic ulceration. Peptic ulcers are open sores that develop on the inside lining of your esophagus, stomach, and the upper portion of your small intestine. Your digestive tract is coated with a mucus layer that normally protects against acid. But if the amount of acid is increased or the amount of mucus actually decreased, you could develop an ulcer, and it's usually caused by bacteria or medications. Helicobacter pylori bacteria commonly live in the mucus layer that covers and protects tissues that line the stomach and small intestine. Often, H. pylori causes no problems, but it can cause inflammation of the stomach's inner layer, producing an ulcer. Also, certain over-the-counter and prescription pain medications can irritate or inflame the lining of your stomach and small intestine, and the ulcers are common in adults who take these medications frequently. Even smoking facilitates peptic ulceration. Smoking causes everything. Stop smoking. Now you know.